Welcome to our 7th grade AC meeting. Uh, we are going to review our norms. Make sure we are on time to meetings. Meetings will begin promptly at 2.50 on Tuesdays. Please inform AC leaders uh, or a member if you can attend or will be late to the meeting. Meeting times will be subject to change with proper notification and as we know that can change because of additional meetings that we all attend. All members will participate and contribute to all meetings. Make sure that required materials are brought to meetings. Let's honor due dates. Let's remember to be positive and open-minded. Let's respect speak, speaker talk time. Follow through with agreed upon team decisions. And now what we are gonna do is we are gonna review some of our SMART goals that we decided upon at our last PLUS meeting. So our first SMART goal is that by December 2016, 35% of our students will be able to produce writing that properly include a claim, evidence that supports the claim, and reasoning on the agreed upon AC common assignments. With the hopes that by the end of June of 2017, 45% of students will be able to also produce writing that properly includes a claim, evidence that supports the claim, and reasoning of the agreed upon AC common assignments. Thank you all for being here. And um, since we are starting our AC, I think it's always important for us going over our norms. And so let's take a look at our first norm. We say we want to honor each other's time. That means be on time, start on time, and end on time. Our second norm, we said that we want everyone has a right to be heard and let others speak without interrupting. Our next norm, we said we want to maintain professional confidentiality, meaning that when we are talking about our own needs for development here, that we're all helping each other get better. Um, our ne next norm we have is we'll make des uh, decisions by consensus and based on data and our student needs. And I know that last week we kind of finished up some assessments, so we might get a chance to look at that this week as well. Okay, so our next one is be professional and open to feedback and inquiry, basically meaning that if you're doing some amazing work in your classroom and um, your kids were successful at something, that you come and you share it, and then we are able to ask questions so we can grow with that. And then our last one, we said be present, be supportive, and be positive. So does anybody have anything you want to say to this or add to this right now? You all good? I think it looks good. good. Okay, cool. Okay, so one of the things that we wanted to discuss or just review was our goals. We went to IPL last time. We were given some data. We had our SBAC goal. We also we had SBAC results. We had our interim assessment data. And we had some data on Ds and Fs. And based on that, we talked about our current realities. So just to kind of review some of this, we noticed that our current re reality for SBAC was that 25.2% of our students met or exceeded uh, proficiency, I know we don't have proficiency anymore, but met or exceeded the benchmark in SBAC for seventh grade. And we said what we wanted to do this year was this year we wanted to increase the percentage of students that met this demarcation of passing exceeding by another 5%, so 30% or higher. Mm -hmm. So that was our first one. Our other current reality that we were looking at was the interim mm -hmm. assessment. Mm -hmm. And what we found out in the interim assessment was that the average percent correct was 40% or 40% yeah, for seventh grade and interim one. And what we said we wanted to do this year is we wanted to increase the average percent correct on the interim to 45%. Right. So everything was 5%, 5% for 5% on the SBAC and 5% on the uh, district in, interim assessment, which would match our regional goals. 